What's Brack and everybody? It's your boy Tyro back with another video. And today we're going over the meta what meta SMGs, what SMGs you should be using in this game. First off, if you are new, hey, like and subscribe, man. It means to me, it means it's free, it means so much to me. Uh leave a comment on anything you want me to do, chest out. Let me know if this helped. Anyway, let's get right into the video, man. Right into this, cause I wanted to be a quick, pretty easy video to upload, and yeah. Also, right now I uh, did my ARs, the Krig and the Far, and then I did my best ARs. Thank you for all the support on those videos, man. It means so much to me. But look, there's double XP out right now. Go level those things up if you haven't, man. That's it's, that's that's the time to level it, your stuff up. I'm telling you. But first off, to me, the bet well the best SMG is the nail gun but it's only got 20 round bullets and if you miss shots it sucks completely so i wouldn't really and so it's only really good in solos just like the vow and the scar they're only good in like solos maybe duos if you reload a lot but like i want to run it you know what i'm saying that's like like that type of stuff i want to run it but then the next best one with in 10 meters so 10 meters or is really good is this is this Cold War MB5, man? This thing is a certified knee slapper, bro. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but yeah. So I'm running the Agency, the Target Designator, the Bruiser Grip, the 50 round Drum, and the Raider Stock. You don't need a uh, barrel for this. And, it, and if you don't run the barrel, it gives you a cleaner iron sight. It's like a little, little half thing. But if, you do, but if you really want, instead of the Target Designator, I would you could run any of the barrels but i just personally i run the target designated to help with the effective damage range so mine's probably good like till 15 meters and then i don't know because that, that's also why i'm running the agency to help with the bullet velocity and the vertical recoil control because this recoil is pretty jumpy and quick and it goes like straight up and then bruiser grip to help with the movement speed and hit fire accuracy that we lose with the rated stock if you don't have the rated stock you run no stock that's, that's either one is very good but yeah i personally run this because it's a, it's good if you go watch my uh Craig gameplay. This is a secondary I'm using in it and it slaps. And then next up, this one I want to say it's the second best SMG after this. Basically, they're known Pacific order, but this is the easiest one to use. This is the most forgiving, and this one I really love to use too. Is the Mac 10 man with the agency, the task force, the target designated, the 53 round Mac, and the no stock. It's basically kind of the same build. But I'm running the agency because the the if you don't know the Mac 10 has one of the quickest aim out sights already, and if you have the blueprint to help with the the little iron sight, it's a lot cleaner. So I don't have that yet, but I'm gonna lock it because they have the new they have a blueprint like that in this battle pass. I run the task force to help with effective damage range, bullet velocity. This to help with my hit fire accuracy and damage range. Then my 53 round mag. And then also I run the no stock instead of the raider stock. You can run the raider stock. But I run the no stock because I hit fire a lot more with my SMGs than I know. And since I'm not running a barrel, I think that's what makes it so easy to hit fire with the uh, MP5. So I think that's why it's it's uh, it's like a shorter barrel. The shorter the barrel, the better the hit fire. I don't know. I think I, I, I saw that somewhere. I'm pretty sure. But this, I, I hit fire with it a little bit. So I'm running this. It's pretty fun to use. And then the mixture is... Okay, after this, there's, a, there's like no rings at all. There's a mixture. This gun right here, bro. The Milano. The Milano. I don't know the 8 now sight speed on this, and mine's not leveled up, as you could tell. But this is a hip fire build. It's pretty fun to use. I've been using it. I'm trying to get a gameplay on it, so check the channel if, if this is a little older, and I might have a gameplay on it. But I maybe run the agency. I don't know. If it's worth right now, but probably will. I'm and then I'd run the last barrel, but I'm running the reinforced for right now. The target designator I'll probably keep on there because it's a hit fire build. And then this is sprint move speed, but I think level 33 is the bruiser grip and it helps movement speed. And so I'd run that along with the 45 round mag. Personally, I'd run the 55 whenever I get it, level 34, I believe. But this gun's fun to use, man. It actually hits pretty decent now. It's ground loot, so you can level it up without really using it, I guess, randomly. But it's pretty fun to use. I'm going to go level it up probably. I'm going to try to get a video out later today or maybe tomorrow on it. But it's fun, man. It's actually, it hits pretty good. I'm not saying it's the best, but it actually works pretty well. And it shoots kind of slow, but it hits. But it comes with the 55 rounds, so you can wipe, you can wipe squads with this, man. 
Alright, so real quick, let's get into these get guns. After this, there's no specific order, because, yeah. Uh, I would go the, the, what's this gun called? LC-10. It's pretty easy, easy to use. Um, you can run the agency, but I don't. I run the sound suppressor with it. The task force. The un Hold on. Let me, let me see if I want to do it under barrel, because I kind of build these out. I'd run the Raider stock, but I don't have it unlocked, so run no stock. After that, you get one more thing. So it depends. Do you want... Is, is Its damage range is getting hurt, but is it the bit that big of a deal? You can run this, or if you want the little bit more hit fire, run the Bruiser group instead of it. Uh, or if you want range add the effective damage range but if you really want range for this don't run the sound suppressor run the agency so yeah that's personally my build or you could switch it to the target team i'd probably run this though because i like having not having this my aim is to, well aim is to build it actually aim is to build ain't too bad so you could, but i like the hit fire accuracy too so it's legit up to you on that one and then we got the ppsh if you don't know i have a gameplay with this gun it's it's a nice gun. I like this gun. It's a little underrated. I don't know why. People don't use it as much. The task force barrel, along with the sound suppressor, no under barrel. Notice with the a lot of these uh, modern war, the cold war guns, I don't run the barrel because um, they're easy to control, man. Most of their recoil patterns are just straight up and down. I don't know why it's that way, but it is. So basically, a lot of the cold war guns are built the same, man. With the bruiser grip. Or this flashlight or the effective damage range. And if you're using the SMG to sniper support, I'd definitely recommend running the Gru or the Agency. But yeah, as you can see, a lot of them are built the same. Um, oh, okay. Okay, AK 47U. Actually, guys, this gun has one of the fastest time to kills if you hit two headshots. It's the fastest out of all of them. So try it out, man. I struggled with it, though. I struggled with it. I have a couple gameplays with this, but. I actually struggled with it whenever I used it, and yeah, it's the same build, you guys know. You can switch out the Bruiser Grip, the Tiger Team, or the Target Designator. Oh, this one's different, though. This one's different. The Bullfrog. I run... I was running the Sound Suppressor. No bullet, no mag. The rate, the Skeletal Stock, along with the Tiger Team, the Barrel, and then the Bruiser Grip, bro. This gives you max mobility, and it is insane, man. It feels so fun to run around with. And if you want to use it as sniper support, run the Gru Suppressor along with the KGB Target Designator. It helps with the damage range and then the hit fire accuracy. So that's how I'd run it with sniper support. But personally, the Tiger Team the and the Sound Suppressor, it's so fun. You feel so quick running around, man. It's so it's so nice. What else we got? I did Mac 10. Um, none of these guns are good. Besides the, the Fennec, I'll give you guys a build real quick. It's a. If, let me know if y'all want to see Fennec gameplay. It's kind of hard to do because yeah, th this thing's. Uh, I struggle with it, man. Um, I want to run that. I'd personally run the aim down sight speed and sprint fire speed grip, along with sleight of hand because it's only 40, 40 rounds and it shoots so fast that you run out of ammo quick. Or you could take the sleight of hand off and run a stock and maybe the grip will tape off and run attack laser. But I want to do that because that's, yeah. I saw I'm not giving you build. The, it, it sucks. MP7. Uh, MP7. There's so many builds to do. Uh, do I want to do MP7? Alright. Mono. Recon. 60 round. Those are the three attachments that will never really change with this gun. It's recoil. So easy to control. You don't need that. So you could do this. Or in the like. No stock. But I like to grip. Aim down sight speed. Sprint to fire speed. Because it helps so much with winning those fights that you uh, you're stuck in a sprint and then you got to hurry up and get out of it or you could run this build with the merc take that off and then the hit fire accuracy to run a hit fire build like the modern warfare mp5 and it's pretty good it don't hit as like it used to i kind of sometimes you'll lose out t you'll lose fights to ttk but it's, if you if you're playing right you most of the time you'll do good then the last build this is actually really still viable in the game is the and Cold War MP5. I have a gameplay on that. Audio is messed up on that gameplay. So if you really want to watch it, go watch it. Thank you for the support, man. Five milliwatt laser. Along, I was running this, of course, staying outside speed, sprint to fire speed. Because you know, I feel like the modern warfare SMGs, they don't shoot. You don't. Yeah, they're not as mobile and fast as the Cold War. But yeah, this is the build I'd run that. Or you could run sleight of hand if you're running squads or whatever. But hey, I think that's it for the video really 
everything's pretty usable in this game. The best SMG is the Cold War within 10 meters, but after 10 meters, it's basically open game. MAC-10, I feel like, is the easiest to use because it, it shoots pretty fast, and if you miss bullets, it's... It, you don't get yeah, it's punished for it but anyway that's the video till next time it's your boy tybo hope you all have a great day peace